Hi, Ben Cotton here to tell you to stop writing your own infrastructure. Now look, I get it. I used to be one of you. I was a large installation system administrator for many years. I've been to a lot of LISA conferences. I understand that I'm one of you. Here we are side by side working on our infrastructure together. Sometimes you just want a tool in your infrastructure that just fits like a glove. It's magical, it's beautiful. Sometimes you wanna learn a new skill. So you think you're gonna develop this infrastructure application and you know maybe you're uh, looking to get out of where you are now. So you wanna burnish the old resume a little bit. I understand. Look, sometimes your management is just cheap and they're not willing to buy a solution that already works. And look, I get it. Sometimes you see a yak and it's nice and hairy and it's just right there in front of you and you have your clippers handy and you just wanna shape it. Stop. Don't do that. Before we go any further, I want to be clear. What I don't mean here is infrastructure as code. That's great, keep doing it. Take your Ansible, your Salt, your Chef, your Puppet, whatever. Keep doing that work to automate your infrastructure. That's amazing. What I do mean here is the actual applications that you are automating. Don't write those, stop it. The PHP project learned this lesson recently when they sort of got compromised a little bit by way of their bespoke Git server. Someone was able to impersonate other committers and make some commits. They caught it quickly, they reverted it, it's great, that's okay. But it turns out, like, eh. I wanna be fair, like, I'm not picking on PHP, it's a great project. They responded to it really well. It's just a very recent example of why you maybe shouldn't do this. And, you know, PHP predates GitHub by 13 years, so it's not like the project could have, on day one, been like, let's have GitHub as our Git forge. That way we don't have to worry about it. It also predates Git itself, which is actually sort of an argument that, well, they moved from whatever they were using before to Git, so they could also move from whatever Git forge they were using to GitHub, assuming they made that move to Git sometime in the three-ish years between the time Git arrived on the scene and the time GitHub arrived on the scene. So like, I'm not picking on them. I'm a nice guy. And so the reason you don't want to do this is security is hard. It is hard to be an expert in these things and write your applications in a way that is going to be secure and you know protect the integrity of your users and your data. Usability is hard. You know, it's one thing to come up with an application that's technically sound, but if people can't figure out how to use it, then it's not going to be used well or properly. You shouldn't take three months to figure out how to use your dang tool. Uh, yet somehow we still use Git, but that's another story. And computers in general are hard. And why subject ourselves to more computer than we have to? And like, I understand you're very smart and I'm not saying that condescendingly, like you're a very talented and capable system administrator and that's great, but you're not an expert in everything. And so what you need to be thinking about is this time you're spending writing this infrastructure application for which a dozen open source and commercial uh, offerings already exist is, does this add value? And I originally had this idea in, specifically in terms of open source projects, but it's probably even more true when you're doing it as your day job, because all the time you spend working on this thing instead of doing the thing you're supposed to be doing is not really adding value. But yet another Git forge does not add value to your company or to your open source project in the way that working on what the actual mission is. And so to sum it up, Leave your applications to the experts. Let the Git Forge experts write your Git Forge. Let the authentication system experts write your authentication system. Don't be spending time reinventing the wheel because you're probably going to do it in a way that just rediscovers the problems that everyone else already discovered.